Hi, this is Joe. Welcome to my online JS piano lesson. Uh, this lesson is on people. This was a big hit for Barbara Streisand. She sang it in the movie Funny Girl and uh, won a Grammy for Best Female Pop Performance, I think in 1964. It was written by Jules Stein and this particular lesson is a good example of left-hand arpeggiation a jazz piano technique used by a lot of great jazz pianists, uh, Bill Evans, George Shearing, Oscar Peterson, Art Tatum, uh, they all used similar techniques. Hope you enjoy this little lesson. Okay, let's look at this in some detail. We have um, the melody of this tune is, right? And I start off harmonizing in the right hand and fourths. The left hand, we have this uh, arpeggiation. So that's basically a, uh, this is a B flat sixth changing to a B flat major seventh. And we have in the left hand we have the five, the ninth, back to the root, three, five, six, one, together, both hands. So that's a very nice sound. Then we have this C minor chord, which is root, five, nine, three, like the Chopin etude that goes, you know, up and down like that. So a lot of this technique really comes from uh, romantic classical music. This is an E flat 13th. It's a passing chord down to this D minor. So D minor. to the G minor, C minor, a B flat sus, now we have these big fat 
quartal chords, okay? Because you have all fourths going like this. And in the left hand, these tenths. I have a big hand on it. I can't always I, I can do them with the you need the pedal. So you jump off with the pedal. Because these are almost impossible to play legato. And if you can't reach that, you gotta go grab them like that. Okay? Or you can play them up here. So if your hand's too small to grab the tenths, use the thirds. Okay? There's an A minor. You got the eleventh up here in the melody. And you're going to have the seventh down here in the um, left hand. There's the seventh. And the D seventh, D minor. Okay, really a D with an F sharp in the bass. And here you have in the left hand, this is the G minor, again with the ninth. You always have that ninth in there. Okay, in the right hand, that's the melody, harmonized in thirds. Kind of an impressionistic sound. G minor, and A minor with the C in the bass, going down to this B flat 6, you're walking down to this A minor, D minor, and then you have this passing note C, taking it down to the G with a B in the bass, B flat, diminished, F, A flat, diminished, So this whole sequence is really just to walk down this bass. And with these uh, other notes above it. D in the bass, the C going down to the B, B, B flat. So it's a chromatic walk down. A, A flat, to the G. the C. And it winds up on an F chord with again this ninth. C minor. Back to the top. Same thing. Now an F minor ninth. to the E flat. Again, you're putting that ninth in all the time. Again, here now an A, A flat seventh, D minor, B flat, G minor. So it's really a one, six, two, five, the sus here. Okay? Again, B flat, G minor, F minor. Now the E flat, with you've got the sixth and the ninth. The A flat, thirteenth, up here. Really a B flat with a D in the bass to G minor ninth. Now this is a C sharp minor ninth down to a C minor ninth. Same thing. F seven sus resolving with the ninth in here, the G. Okay, and now you have this deceptive cadence, the G flat, 
to the B ends with a B flat, six, nine, the five is a major seventh. Okay? It's a typical receptive cadence. The flat six to the flat two, back to the one. Okay, sheet music's available in PDF form. And if you'd like a lesson on Skype, please contact me. My uh, email address is below. Thanks.